Hello once again folks and uh, you're very welcome along to another video Tom Mila Foyle to the Rover East and uh, is your dog disobedient and uh, out of control and doing whatever it likes whenever it likes it's a problem I come across all the time people contact me all the time I'll give you an example I recently had a lady contact me she had a dog in the house now this dog was just a small dog but it was creating chaos in the house the dog was about eight months old and it was ruling the roost basically it was doing whatever it liked whenever it liked went wherever it liked whenever it liked and uh, the woman came to me she was always pulling her hair out in frustration and basically I suppose what's wrong there is the relationship between the people in the house and the dog was completely dysfunctional and in order for her to um, get a handle on it she needed to understand why the dog was like that She'd been sending the wrong signals to the dog from the very first day she got it. In other words, she'd been treating him like a, like a baby, basically. And um, she hadn't been treating him like a dog, which is, would make him way, way happier. If he's, dogs are best and happiest when they're treated as dogs, when they have structure and discipline in their lives. And most of all, when they have leadership. None of these things were provided for that dog and therefore the dog was all at sea, rudderless and all over the place and didn't know what to do with itself. So um, we started a little regime of uh, work with the dog and now there's a huge improvement in a very, very short time. And today I'm going to show you um, with my two young East European Shepherd sisters. They're every six months and a couple of days and... Um, I have been working on those two since I got them and I've been doing the things necessary in order to provide them structure and discipline and like I say the most important thing is to provide them with leadership and today what I'm going to show you is one of the things that I do and um, that will automatically even if you use just this alone this technique alone will, will um, go a long ways towards establishing a good relationship with your dog and it's not difficult to do portals and gateways doorways that sort of thing anywhere where you enter in and out and um, food basically these are the two things I'm going to be showing you what I do in order to have a proper relationship with your dog so um, that's it folks I hope you enjoyed the video and that you find it instructive if you do please like and subscribe and also uh, be much appreciated I have a patreon link in the description if you'd like to give the channel a little support so once again thanks very much for joining me and here we go now I just returned from a walk I've taken the two girls off the leashes made them sit and uh, let them wait whilst I open the gate and then they're allowed in when I tell them they're allowed in and not until. Wait. To test their patience. Now I'm going to open the gate. They can see that it's open. The temptation of course for them is to run straight in but that's not allowed. They go in when I say so and not until. Okay. Now, that's the gate protocol and on the way out it's the same thing or any doorway for that matter. And now the next thing, food. Now we come to the food. Here. Sit. They're very anxious for food, very hungry dogs. Wait. Now this is where they have to be really patient. They have to, it's a prolonged wait because I'm going to go in here, I'm going to prepare the food and they have to sit and wait until such time as the food is prepared and I bring it out. Jesse feeds here, that's Jesse there. Luna feeds over there. So let's see how patient they are. It takes me a couple of minutes to uh, get the food together so you'll have to be patient too. <laughs> Now, um, by the way, the food um, that I feed them, some people will, of course, want to know. Now, I, I doubt if you can see me in here through the, the dark doorway, but uh, it's a mixture of minced beef and good quality kibble. 
and that I feed them that twice a day and it keeps them in great order yeah. getting there now raw food of course is probably the best thing you can give your dog and of course the kibble does no harm either nearly there Yeah, here we go, food ready. They have to be patient and wait until such time as it's in position for them. Now, of course, with any training, it's almost impossible to train two dogs together. So I've done this with both of the, these dogs individually in order to establish the behavior. Same thing with the doors and portals. Now again we just let them relax and when they look at me I need the eye contact. Okay, now they're happily going to eat their food. So teaching patience to your dog is very very important. You don't want your dog rushing in and gates in front of your doorways, pulling you through doorways and all that sort of stuff. Uh, making them wait for food, of course, then establishes your leadership again. So if you want a good, balanced dog, you need to supply it, supply it with structure and leadership. That's how a dog is happiest. The dog is happier when they have a definite structure, a routine and um, discipline. So as you can see there, two very happy dogs. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks, and uh, maybe you found it instructive also. So. Thanks once again for watching and good evening, Kia Dorele. Slog forward. Good girls.